Hey YouTube, what goes on? Welcome to This About Action Figures, toy episode number 150. Yes, that's right, we've reached 150 hunt episodes here on the channel. Of course, not counting our weekly live streams and special episodes, but we've made 150 out of the toy hunts and I'm proud of that. Thank you so much for being here for the journey along the way. It's greatly appreciated. So before we hit target today, who knows what we're looking for? AEW, still looking for Dark Order Wave, maybe something over from Holothon, who knows? Uh, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you, it doesn't cost you dime helps us grow the channel tremendously in the march to 3,000 subs and beyond hit the bell for notifications so you're told me post new content on the channel leave a comment down below hit the like button for daily toy content and daily toy updates check us over at twitter and instagram at disavowed underscore 12. let's get inside and see what we can find we're back at the airport road target but their new floors and the aisles are back to being regular distance apart again very cool they're doing the rehab here uh but first time seeing a stuck and mutagen man it's very cool looking i'm pretty much out on this but Let's take a walk over here. Some people coming near me here talking. Uh, whoa, I even see a thing behind me. So you definitely put the wrestling in the same aisle now uh, as the legends back behind me. Didn't realize that. Uh, so again, new target design. Uh, but yeah, there's the ace stuck and the mutagen man. Uh, again, cool stuff. I just, there's too many lines anymore. I think I stopped. They have the Casey Jones cartoon, Bebop and Rocksteady, Shredder. I think it's about it. So. Um, I'm kind of good with those. I might be forgetting one or two, to be honest. It all runs together anymore. So I'm going to leave this behind. Uh, I'll put it on over at uh, on Instagram at this underscore 12 for local collectors if you're looking. But uh, yeah, other than that, since wrestling's right in front of us here, I'll put that back in a minute. Um, there's our mean Mark Callis, and there's the actual Undertaker. What up, dead? Um, back behind, we have another Edge. I know that the chase is out there. I've seen it a couple times already. Uh, I'm not interested in it. Uh, there's China, China, Bailey, of course. Uh, more Undertaker down here. Looks like we have the rock up top. So pretty half decent selection here of WWE. Again, as I said, that's pretty cool to see. The Thor, Love, and Thunder Molnir. Uh, down below, there is this guy from Power Rangers. Couple of him. They're pretty stacked up, it looks like, with King Grayskull here. So, again, always good to see that sitting here. Uh, up top, Origins, Jitsu, Stratos, another Jitsu. So all their stuff. There's Mosquitoor and jurassic park not much going on down here yet hammond collection is kind of cool i suppose that seems new again i know jurassic parks so let me know in the comments that these are new here um but other than that i think we're gonna get out of here legends behind me is a dumpster fire it's not worth showing you it's even there there's like one doctor strange but all right let's move on still here at crocs and i just happen to be walking by this clearance sign check this out uh yeah 989 Remember all those people on YouTube who were sounding it was the end of the toy industry because people couldn't find this when it first came out. And of course, people were selling it online for huge amounts of money. Yeah, this thing, hmm, well, you know, I hate to say I told you so, but it was not the end of the world. These things literally stack up everywhere now. So I guess what I'm saying is be patient before you start to do, uh, you know, doom and gloom sorts of stuff because it's supposed to be a fun hobby. Why make it? not fun i guess i don't know or i don't know anything whatever but with that said 989 that's like five bucks a figure with the with the uh the tax i i don't need it i'm not, i'm st I, I just don't collect the many of these i started i have like orco and i think uh the basics he-man skeletor basically just eventually put on a wall which right now there's in a box at home um but yeah oh well keep looking if you wait and play the long game you can get it it wasn't the end of the world it's here oh and just to hammer home my point um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's just here. They're everywhere. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Check this out down here. Uh, Wolverine Diorama, thirteen forty nine, marked down from forty four ninety nine. That's probably have to be a pickup. I'll have to double check. It's not broken or anything, but. I really don't collect these, but that's way too good of a price. Leave that behind. And it's never too early a Christmas shop for people. You're friends with people. Remember that. So I have a buddy that is a statue collector. That's a heck of a deal right there. So probably picking this up. Why not? Too good of a price. Leave it behind. There's legends more expensive than this over in the other aisle. There are peg warmers. So Target Crocs Road. And check this out. Uh, the Motu uh, Big Boy packs are on clearance for 15 bucks. Not too bad. So Clam Champ is there. It's all Clam Champ. Uh, but we do have Mosquito down here. Um, or the origins are down to 1002, which is great. 1495 on, it looks like, uh, the Revelations. 1359 on him. So if you're looking to get in. But check that out. King Grayskull's here. So first time seeing him. Um, I did not get on the line. I stayed out of this line. As things clearance, you never know. But this is pretty cool. You have Triclops. You have King Grayskull. You have 
Savage He-Man, uh, and Faker all right here. So that's kind of awesome. Uh, down this way, Star Wars, we got a damaged um, Paz Bibla going on there. Uh, of course, all Lonely Landos, wrestling. We have tons of Edge. Uh, we have tons of Reckoning, it looks like. A couple Chinas from DX are here, but that seems to be about it. So let's check NECA and try to get over in the next aisle and see what else we can find. Actually, Road Dog's here too, so kind of go seeing Road Dog in China there. If there was a Triple H, I could basically build the entire team. <sighs> I'm not going to buy this, but it's cool to see. Uh, by the way, I'll put this on Instagram at disavowed underscore 12 for you local collectors that are out there. All right, see what else we can find. And as usual, Legends, pretty much dumpster fire. I guess these might mean more when the movie comes out next week. Uh, otherwise, that's what we got. Tons of little guys, I'm not even going to go through those. Um, down here, Thor, Love and Thunder, but not Legends. Power Rangers, haven't seen this before. So we have the In Space Blue Ranger. Ooh, these do. So uh, there is the Mighty Morphin, uh, I have no idea how to say that. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'm not a Mighty Morphin guy. Um, otherwise, there's tons of him here. Wow, whole case. So Power Ranger fans, he's out there. If you're looking for him, you give it a shot here. It's like a Piranha? Peer into Piran Piranha Head? I don't know. I, I know I'm going to take crap on that, but I'll get over it. Uh, other than that, down here, we do some of the big boy Joker still here, the two packs. Uh, G.I. Joe, Joe was next to nothing, but yeah, that's all we got here. So let's get moving. So here we are at Cedar Crest Boulevard, my favorite ex Eternals end cap. But what the hell? I look down and I think, okay, I have this. What? What? Is this common? Let me know in the comments, is this on clearance everywhere now? Is that why I haven't seen any since the one I purchased? I mean, I'm looking at it. It doesn't seem like it's repacked. Everything's taped. Uh, the fists are in here. It's the correct head sculpt. I mean, everything looks normal. The, the, the fire effect is here. Is it just that this is actually on clearance already for like essentially 50% off? I'm definitely taking this. I mean, I'll take my other one back. Those for full price if I don't really need two of these. But then again, do I need two fire effects? Maybe I do. I should say portal effects, I suppose. Uh, I was not going to beat up too much of the comments, but that's pretty awesome that I just saw that. So keep your eyes open, people, because there might be a possibility that uh, this is on clearance in your area. You never know. Um, but yeah, let's keep moving along. And I just went through a second time through wrestling. I didn't film the first time because somebody was over here. There's a friggin' Anna J sitting here. I walked right past it. So I did just open this in Live 705, but I think RG's looking for this, and he hooked me up with, Eagle, with Evil Uno recently, so I might just grab this for him and see if eventually he doesn't find it, I can help him out. Other than that, Ortiz is here, and then otherwise, looking back here, it's all basically older stuff. So Niall is back there, tons of Lance Archer. He had an awesome match at Dynamite this past week, uh, which we were at. So check out my footage uh, here on the channel uh, from, uh, from WCW, AW Dynamite and Rampage. Uh, from Philadelphia, Temple University. It was a good time. I was there with the Dark Jokers in from the Infinity Equation podcast, Six Packs and Knickknacks, and as I, as I mentioned, Art G. So check all of them out on Instagram and uh, YouTube. Good guys. Uh, but also the GF was there, but she didn't really do the toy hunt thing. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's a pretty cool find. Um, apparently, Stu Grayson is the hard one to find. Art G actually offered to grab him for me as well. I didn't think I wanted him, but now that I realized I have everybody but him, uh, it might have to happen, but... Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Find stuff right there. And more Mode 2 deals, as you can see. I think we showed this earlier in the video for the deluxe figures. So if you want to get on Origins and you played the long game, now's the time to do it because these are pretty much slashed prices. I'm waiting to get them down to like seven. As I said, I was not really yet on this line, but if I can get them for seven bucks, I might. That's that's just, you know, why not? But yeah, there you go. Tons of deals. Uh, G.I. Joe is basically gung-ho. That's it. <laughs> so nothing else we have shown over that side. And I was looking for Legends. I didn't know why they weren't there. They're in this random aisle over here in like the clearance section. Um, I don't know why. They even have tags here. So they're full price. It's like in the clearance section. But Wong, America Chavez, and they shoved all the peg warmers up here. I'm going to scan these to make sure they're not clearance. But it's just uh, basically Shocker and Hammerhead who I was playing the long game on. But uh yeah target making some weird choices so look around also this is down on clearance let me know are these worth picking up i obviously don't even dabble in these but as it gets down lower in clearance price you always got to consider maybe dabbling in a new line to see what it's like and then poor lebron as we said last video
All right, so there's the bench outside my local GameStop. So I just did a thing. I was in earlier and saw this was uh, on clearance. I checked the website. I said it was on $39.99 clearance. He rings it up, $34.99. Apparently the entire clearance section's on clearance or sale. So that's a lot of plastic to not pick up for $34.99. This is like originally like 50 or something, like 52 probably GameStop. So I added it, especially with price hikes coming up plastic on the, the front window there all that plastic in the box yeah had to pick this up for that price too good so that's a win we'll take it let's keep hunting though We are back at Crocs Road Target, and I kind of moved all these over here because there's people who are hanging out in the pop section. But look at this. Holy neck of gods. <laughs> neck of fairy in full effect. Um, then at a weird time of night for me because we're babysitting uh, the girlfriend's niece and nephew. So I took a ride over here real quick just to pick a few things up because they look close by. And look at this. Literally, I haven't seen this back in the future yet. This is the first time seeing Biff. So that's pretty cool looking. Of course, I've seen most of this stuff already. Uh, I just literally told somebody I'd never see this, so I apologize um, uh, that I said that because I never do. <laughs> I just happened to come across it today. Um, but there was somebody who already uh, was local who hit me up about that, so I have to check with them first. Um, Troubles afoot. I've seen that before. It really NECA a holothon, but it's here, and we've seen this before too. So this is the first time seeing this. We'll take a closer look at this. And yes, I'll put all this stuff back. Don't complain. I mean, complain if you want to. I don't care. Put it in the comments. Um, but uh, first time seeing Biff Ultimate Tannin. I do have a good, a good variety of Back to the Future, but I bought them all on clearance, so I will not be picking this up. It's not needed for my collection, um, as I just basically am a clearance collector of Back to the Future. But I always love seeing new things out here. So very cool seeing Neck. I think we were just at, at Crocs or earlier in this episode, so I apologize. I try to double up too often, but uh, also just picked this up as well. I think last video. Also, VR Hobbies, where I'm headed next, also picked this up as well. Uh, they have it there, I should say. Uh, I picked it up at Target. But uh, seeing all this here is awesome. Love the horror sticker. But I'm going to leave all this behind. I'll put it on Instagram as well. Just about R square 12. But uh, yeah, everything but an Elvira. So Archie, good friend of the channel. 
no Elvira, buddy, everything but, unfortunately. So, all right, let's clean this up and maybe get the VR hobbies next. So this just happened at Cedar Crest Target. Finally found the entire unmatched wave. So I have one now for Art G. There's extras here. They have multiple Brodies, multiple Evil Unos. Uh, but this is the guy, this is the guy, the last one I needed. I wasn't gonna do the whole wave until I decided to do the whole wave. <laughs> so that's incredible. Stu Grayson is in my hands. Those head sculpts are fantastic. This guy would really blend in with like all sorts of like Viking stuff and all sorts of things, but I'm grabbing this. I'm leaving the rest because I already have a Brody to rock, a Brody to stock. I have an Anna J. I don't need multiples. Uh, but again, so cool seeing all these. I have my Evil Uno. Thanks again to Archie for that. But so cool seeing all this wrestling here. But I think that's what we're going to call it a hunt because that's about as good as it's going to yeah. get. So if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps us grow the channel tremendously. Um, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Hit the bell for notifications. So you're totally post new content here on the channel, like our weekly toy hunts and live streams. Uh, daily toy content and daily toy updates, the updates at disavowed underscore 12 on Twitter and Instagram. And remember those three Ps of the toy hunt. Be persistent. Be patient. Most of all, be polite to everybody and those workers out there. Take care. Stay healthy. And I'll be seeing all of you and the Dark Order at the pegs. So awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, see ya.